Good afternoon, Maven Chris. I am Mahira. Let's start the warm up session. Introduce yourself. Greetings. I'm Dr. Maven Chris. With a decade of experience in the medical field, I specialize in accident and emergency medicine. My expertise lies in handling critical cases and providing swift, effective care to patients in urgent situations. Additionally, I've led numerous medical teams and initiatives aimed at improving emergency response protocols and patient outcomes. What motivated you to pursue a career in medicine? I became a doctor because of my strong desire to help others and make a real difference in their lives. Witnessing the profound impact healthcare professionals had on individuals and communities inspired me. Whether it was relieving pain, providing comfort, or promoting better health, these experiences were deeply fulfilling. The dynamic nature of medicine, the endless learning opportunities, and the chance to collaborate with diverse teams also drew me in. Ultimately, becoming a doctor was the most direct way for me to pursue my passion for serving others and creating lasting change. Why did you choose OT? As a doctor, my ultimate aim is to practice medicine in an English-speaking country such as the UK or Ireland. To attain registration as a medical professional in these nations, I must demonstrate proficiency in the English language. Therefore, I have chosen to undertake the Occupational English Test, as it is specifically crafted to assess the language skills essential for healthcare professionals. The tailored nature of the OET ensures that it aligns closely with the communication demands and scenarios encountered in medical practice. By opting for the OET, I am confident in my ability to meet the language requirements and pursue my dream of practicing medicine in an English-speaking environment. What are the current trends in your profession? In my profession as a doctor, several trends are prominent. Telemedicine has seen a surge in allowing remote consultations. Personalized medicine is gaining ground, tailoring treatments to individual patients. Preventive care and wellness promotion are increasingly prioritized. Advancements in technology, like AI and wearables, are reshaping diagnostics and treatment approaches. Keeping up with these trends is essential for providing optimal patient care. Do you have a role model? As a doctor, I find inspiration from various sources, but if I were to pinpoint role model, it would be Dr. Paul Farmer. His dedication to providing healthcare to underserved communities worldwide, his commitment to social justice, and his innovative approaches to tackling global health challenges serve as a beacon of inspiration for me. Dr. Farmer's work with Partners in Health demonstrates the profound impact that compassionate and equitable healthcare can have on vulnerable populations. His tireless efforts remind me of the importance of empathy, advocacy, and persistence in my own medical practice.
You can now start your OET speaking roleplay. Good morning, Mihira. How are you feeling today? Good morning, Dr. Chris. I'm feeling a bit anxious, to be honest. I understand. Let's start with your blood pressure. Today it's 16100, which is still quite high. Have you been taking the Atenolol I prescribed last month? Um, actually, no, I haven't started taking it yet. I see. Could you please share with me why you haven't started the medication yet? Well, doctor, I don't like the idea of relying on medication. I've always believed that natural therapies and lifestyle changes can restore my health. I know I need to control my weight and exercise more. I understand your perspective, Mihira. It's commendable that you're considering natural approaches and lifestyle changes. However, your blood pressure is quite high, and untreated hypertension can be very dangerous. What concerns do you have about taking the medication? I'm worried that once I start, I'll have to rely on it forever, and I prefer to manage my health naturally. That's a valid concern. I get where you're coming from, Mihira. It's awesome that you're into natural stuff for your health. But your blood pressure is really high, and if we don't do something about it, it can be super risky. Taking medicine along with those lifestyle changes can give you extra help in keeping your blood pressure in check. It's all about finding the right mix to keep you healthy. Diet and exercise are super important, but sometimes we need a little extra help, especially when your blood pressure is as high as it is. The medicine can help bring it down to a safer level while you keep up with those lifestyle changes. By the way, have you made any changes to your diet or activity level since our last visit? Not as much as I should have, I suppose. I've been trying to eat healthier, but I haven't really started exercising yet. I appreciate your honesty, Mihira. It's great that you're making efforts to eat healthier. Starting exercise can be tough, but it's something we can work on together. Since you haven't fully started with the natural methods yet, it's really important to begin medication, especially given your high blood pressure. The medication will help bring it down to a safer level while you focus on becoming more active. I just really don't want to depend on pills. Aren't there any natural alternatives? I understand your concern, Mihira. While natural methods can help, they usually work best when combined with prescribed medication. Think of the medication as a way to protect your body while you make those important lifestyle changes. It's not something you'll necessarily need forever, but it's a crucial step right now to keep you safe. If you don't control your high blood pressure, it can lead to serious complications like heart disease, stroke, kidney damage, and even vision loss. These conditions can severely impact your quality of life. We want to prevent these risks while you work on your health naturally. I see your point, but I still feel uneasy about it. I take your point, Mihira. How about we start with the medication right away, to get your blood pressure under control, and ensure your immediate safety. We'll closely monitor your progress and, in the meantime, you can begin integrating natural therapies and lifestyle changes. If we see a significant improvement, we can then consider adjusting your medication. Right now, starting the medication is the safest way to protect your health, while you make these positive changes. I guess that makes sense. I really want to avoid any serious complications. Exactly. Let's start the Atenolol today, and we'll schedule regular checkups to track your progress. Meanwhile, I can also refer you to a dietitian and a fitness coach to support your lifestyle changes. How does that sound? All right, doctor. I'll start the medication and follow the plan. That's a wise decision, Mihira. We're here to support you every step of the way. If you have any concerns or experience any side effects, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you, Dr. Chris. I appreciate your understanding and support. You're welcome. Take care, Mihira.